my dear students. A warm good morning to all of you and welcome to one more session on biomolecules. And today we are going to talk about lipids. The term lipid is quite familiar to all of us and uh, we quite often consider them to be as fatty and greasy substances. But what are they basically? Lipids, they are usually uh, considered to be as a heterogeneous group of compounds uh, which is related to the fatty acids and they could be, as I told you earlier, they could be sticky, they could be greasy and uh, usually these sticky and greasy or oily substances, they are being found to be hydrophobic in nature or they do not dissolve in water. But they are considered to be soluble in organic solvents like ether, chloroform and benzene. And uh, all those components which have the hydrophobic nature, which is soluble in solvents and which is considered to be oily or greasy, uh, are being considered to be members of this heterogeneous group of lipids. And sometimes they might be called as lipids and even as lipoids. Now let's look, what are the roles of these lipids? within within a body now they could be of different types they could be as storage lipids or they could be structural lipids as we find in membranes or might be as different different other uh, functionally active components now for example either in signaling or in as cofactors or even in pigments lipids would be present but the core thing what we have to remember is that they are insoluble in water. Now here is a picture of a human adipose tissue where the fat droplets are there. You can see the pink color fat droplets which are not being, which are like forming globules. Okay, they form uh, globules in a sense, yeah, rounded structures uh, which are not, uh, it's not like, they form droplet like things so that uh, they are not getting water. They are not becoming a part of the cell, they are not getting dissolved onto the cell, but what is it? They are insoluble and staying in between the cells. So, if we get along to look the diversity of uh, lipids, they can be found as either fats and oils, uh, as storage forms, or they can be found as phospholipids and steroids as structural components in biological membranes and as I told you they could uh, play a crucial role as enzyme cofactors, electron carriers, light absorbing pigments, hydrophobic anchors for proteins, chaperones that help membrane proteins pose, emulsifying agents in the digestive tract, hormones, intracellular messengers and sometimes they also occur as heat insulating agents within the body and Sol, uh, ca carriers of some vitamins. Now, for example, there are some fat soluble vitamins. They are being carried by lipids. And also, the fatty acid absorption is also some of the roles which are being carried out by the lipids. So, these are some instances, natural instances, where the uh, functions of lipids are being depicted. Now, in the case of elephant seal, the fat under the skin will aid to protect it from the cold and you can see the kidney is embedded with a fatty tissue. Then the there is a wax surface on the leaves which help them to repel the water and reduces the water loss from the plant and uh, every cell membrane will contain lipids and in the case of a duck's back you can see that there is uh, fatty acids on the duck's feather which will repel water and uh, if we it's quite evident from these evidence, uh, from these examples itself, that is the fatty acids or the lipids. Okay, I will come into how are they linked to uh, how fatty acids and lipids are linked. I will explain that to you. So the lipids generally play a wide role in every biological form, uh, in different, in different areas. So now let's talk about the first and the foremost, uh, most commonly used term called storage lipid or the fats which we commonly say. 
The storage lipids, they are usually triacyl glucosols, and they make up the fats in the oils, uh, which most of the organism use as a storage form of energy. And the fats which we have do contain fatty acids. What is a fatty acid? Fatty acid is a hydrocarbon derivative and it is high Uh, highly reduced and have about the same oxidation state as a hydrocarbon fossil fuels and the burning of fatty acids is highly exothermic now you want to have a look of what is fatty acid uh, uh, of what is fat okay fat is nothing but i told you the triacetyl derivative triacyl glycerides so it is a uh, usually uh, considered to be as a what Uh, if if it is a what if there is a fatty acid over here the fatty acid is linked towards what with glycerol glycerol is a fatty acid so fats are the triacetyl derivatives of of what alcohol and fatty acids they both are linked together resulting in the formation of fats okay so this is a correct the fats are defined as the esters of glycerol and fatty acids or as triglycerides of fatty acids now what is fatty acid fatty acid is nothing but a carbon chain a carbon chain with a cooh group attached to it so when uh, the storage fat which we told is triacyl glycerides so what is it you uh, the fat some fatty acids are being taken okay it could be of different types the fatty acids are being linked to with a triglyceride no, with the alcohol and the alcohol which here is glycerol so three palmitic acids are being linked together with glycerol and it results in the formation of trimalpitin <coughs> that is a this is an example of a uh, what of a fat so you have the glycerol moiety and on to the end of the glycerol moiety you have fatty acid moieties linked together resulting in the formation of a triacyl glycerol or what is a triacyl glycerol these are examples of the storage lipids which we have now uh, in this case of the fatty acid the fatty acid can be either be what saturated or unsaturated saturated means it will not have any double bonds within it or uh, what unsaturated means uh, it will contain double bonds now in this case if you go to look it is the cooh group is at the end for the fatty acid okay and stearic acid is a 18 carbon saturated fatty acid now you do not consider the cooh moiety other than that in the carbon chain if there is any fat, uh, double bond then you consider it to be as unsaturated now here stearic acid is considered to be as a saturated fatty acid and it is mainly been found in the animal fats and uh, of course the uh, space filling models of these are being shown over here and uh, uh, linseed oil this is uh, which contains two different unsaturated fatty acids and it is being found in the flax seeds and wherever there is unsaturation you can see that uh, there will be uh, that uh, it is been indicated by a yellow orange bar so a uh, fat okay a uh, storage fat uh, is a triacyl glycerol and it is being formed by the what as a esterification of glycerols and fatty acids resulting in the formation of triglycerides now uh, in the previous example i told you it is a glycerol moiety now sometimes other than glycerol different other alcohols can also be included in the formation of fats they could be saturated as we told uh, glycerol or sometimes it can be cholesterol or even higher alcohols such as acetyl alcohol or myrazyl alcohol can be involved or even uh, you can find sometimes unsaturated alcohols also now in some pigments like phytol and uh, lycopene also you can see such thing so as i told you what are fatty acids these are the basic components which have been found in the fats 
and these are long chain organic compounds usually 4 to 30 carbon and they will have a carboxyl moiety attached to it and uh, uh, this as a result what happens it will be hydrophobic in nature and it is oily or greasy in nature and usually these fatty acids normally do not occur in a free or uncombined state in the cells or the tissues but they are usually being linked they are found in a bound form in different classes of lipids so the fatty acid is as in the case of triglycerides they are being found attached to the glycerol moieties in the case of fats now the naming of these fatty acids uh, the noti uh, notification is like that numbering starts from coh and uh, one two three four they are being named like this and the terms alpha beta and gamma delta epsilon they are being given based upon the uh, for the carbon atoms further and if the fatty acid is being found to be uh, saturated uh, it is have it will have a suffix called enoic acid and if it is uh, unsaturated fatty acid it will be known as enoic acid and the position of the double bond is usually been indicated by the lower number of the two carbon atoms involved in the double bonding. So, as I mentioned earlier, they could either be saturated or unsaturated. And sometimes they might occur as esters when they are being linked together as uh, with uh, alcohols. Or sometimes they might also occur as uh, amides, that is... You can see over here the NH the after the CO group uh, amides might be present. Now these are some of the saturated fatty acids, butyric acid, capriol, and all that. And uh, now you can just go through it. And the next one we can have the sometimes they might be even be branched as in isopalmitic acid, anti-isoalmitic acid, and all the fatty acids okay and these are some of the yeah let me just go on to the next slide okay these are some of the unsaturated fatty acids like uh, monoethanoid acids diethanoid acids which are the examples of uh, triethanoid linoleic acid and linolenic acid and all these are examples of in in the case of uh, uh, oleic acid it is having uh, is a mono ethanoid that is it has only one double bond oleic acid and when it comes to linoleic acid it is having two uh, double bonds and in the case of linolenic acid it contains three double bonds so, so these are some of the unsaturated facet fatty acids which are being found and the examples of some unsaturated fatty acids have been tabulated along with their common source and uh, hope so it is clear to you with this, we come to an end of the session. Thank you.